Okay, Mr. Bookish, I want to thank you for coming down here to answer our questions today. I suppose you know why you're here. Yeah, I know why I'm here. It was that channel slanted spines. They came up with all this business, all this tag, all these questions. And then Sean the book man maniac tagged me. He's the reason I'm here. Okay, okay, just just calm down and, and answer the questions if you will. Question number one. Do you consider yourself to be a mood reader? I don't know. You watch my channel. What do you think? Am I a mood reader? Relax, Francis. Do you set TBR lists and, and do you stick to them? Yes, I set TBR lists and yes, I stick to them. Who said I didn't? Was it Donahue? I bet it was Donahue. Okay, okay. Do books affect you emotionally? Does the mood of a book rub off on you? Yes, books make me happy. Even the sad ones make me happy if they're good books and sometimes that affects my mood. When you're feeling sad, what do you read, or do you not read when sad? Look, I read when I'm sad, I read when I'm happy, I read when I'm angry, I read whatever my mood is. Most often, do you use reading to escape, to learn, or to critically reflect? You guys in these questions, I read for all three, okay? Don't try to put your limits on me about how I read or how other people read. I read for all three, okay? I read to learn, I read for self-reflection. I read to escape. Sometimes the self-reflection helps me escape. What is a book that made you laugh out loud? Mason and Dixon by Thomas Pynchon. Pynchon is not usually considered a humor writer. It was funny, okay? There's this big wheel of cheese and it's rolling down a hill and it's about to kill somebody and he's like saved to the last second. The way Pynchon describes that cheese is just funny. Got a problem with what I think is funny? What is a book that made you cry, or if you don't cry, one that moved you, that really moved you? The Other Name by Jan Fulce. Yeah, I've heard you give that answer a million times. So what? That's my answer. The book was really moving. It really affected me, okay? What is a book you didn't even know how you felt about? Inventory of Losses by Judith Schlansky. You guys are real cute. You think you're going to get me by making me feel stupid. Interesting. Are you more likely to read on a sunny day or a cloudy day? Weather has no effect on my reading. I read in a hurricane. I read in an ice storm. I read when it was like 95 degrees in my house because the air conditioning was out. My reading is impervious to weather. You're a real tough guy. Do you usually set the mood when you read? Music, lights, smells, etc.? No. Can you leap from book to book or do you need a buffer time between them? Look, man, I've been on BookTube for almost three years now. You don't think I can leap from book to book whenever I want to? Buddy reads, readathons, read-alongs. I can read multiple books at the same time. Like a cat. Cat-like reflexes jumping from one thing to another. Can you give us the name of anybody else who you think would give answers that would be revealing to these questions? Now we're getting down to it. Now we know why you really quit asking me here. You want me to name names. Well, I'm no hero. I'm going to name some names. Here's some people you, I'm going to tag so you can go ask them these questions and leave me alone. Alan from Big Hard Books and Classics. Mark Nash, there's a moody guy. Doris from All to Books. Are those really peppy, happy moods? Is that really what she's like or sometimes is it different? Marilyn Maya Mendoza, living out there in Hawaii. I bet she's in a good mood all the time. Let's see how she answers these questions. Jack, the rambling raconteur. Where is he rambling? What's he raconteuring? Jim's books and reading and stuff. Living in Georgia. I bet he's got some interesting answers to these questions you guys can make a lot out of. And finally, Anna Wallace Johnson. You guys go ask her all these questions. All right, thank you, Mr. Bookish. You can go. You've been really helpful. Yeah, well, you can go.